that's fine. Great. Well, we, we spoke over the summer, and thanks for the, thanks for the interview. Yeah. But, uh, you're pushing even harder. It seems like you're pushing hard enough for, maybe not harder, but you're making quite a push for, uh, for a promotion. Now, what is that? Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, it's, uh, well, thank you, first of all. But uh, it's, um, that was my mindset, you know, coming back uh, with uh, the rain here, just to keep pushing. Uh, it was a great training camp. You know, I was happy to be able to play all six games there. And this is kind of my mindset to keep pushing. So that's what I've been doing. We've had some success as a team, and I think that's helping everybody individually. Do you feel like you're doing anything better now as opposed to at the end of last season? Yeah, I, it's a quicker start for me. Uh, you know, there's some growing pains in your first year, and you kind of work through them and uh, uh, just keep going. So, uh, you know, end of the year strong. We had a really good team run and great team. So. I'm um, just kind of building on that through the summer and then begin the season here. I would assume the Kings and maybe the coaching staff, development staff, yeah. maybe the gyms had some talks with you as you were coming back here. What did mm -hmm. they tell you after when you left training camp? Just to polish some things up here and uh, you know play you know a leader role and on this team and you know I'm considered one of the older guys now or a returning player, so take a little more ownership and some little details and. Just do stuff like that, and um, there's a lot of communication from them, and uh, that's great. Uh, I think it helps everybody, all the players, and um, including myself. So, uh, you know, it's just a little details, uh, some nothing really crazy, but uh, you know, just polish some things up. Help Can you give the us some examples here. of what they wanted you to polish um, up? Well, I was playing on my offside a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, working, uh, you know, on wall plays and stuff like that. So. Um, just executing on that stuff, get my feet moving up ice, and uh, you know, working on those first few steps, which has always been one of the things that I need to work right. on. So, um, just stuff like that, um, just to clean it up a little bit, and hopefully get an opportunity. How do you feel you've done in that, in that regards in the first half of the games? Well, um, you, know, you notice, you know, NHL is the fastest you know game out there, so uh, things happen a little faster up there. So you try to play at that pace here. The pace is really fast here, though. Don't get me wrong, um, but you know you try to play at that pace and work on little details, um, stuff like that. Get your feet moving on up ice, like I said. So um, I'd say the pace and try to implement that pace down here. And you know we've been doing that as a team, and it shows we've uh, you know we haven't lost yet. So, so pace is a word your GM uses a lot. And yeah. talks about you in that regard too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm not lying to you here. Yeah, I, guess, so. I know. <laughs> Is it easier, almost easier to accept being sent down when you realize that's how this organization does things and and guys that are yeah. way more accomplished have had to spend extra time in the minors? For sure. You don't really take it as a demotion. I mean, it's in my second year, right? So it's uh, um, it's just keep pushing. You know, I haven't made, haven't you know gotten everything yet. Uh, nothing's given to you either, so you got to keep working on it. Uh, if you're going to take it negatively, it's not going to help you out either. So... Um, you know, you always have to have a good attitude, and it's easy around here because we have a great, such a tight group and great coaching staff, and they help you out, and they want you to succeed just as much as yourself, so it's great. The two block shots at the end of the second period, is that almost as satisfying as scoring a goal? To, uh, to be able to, to... Yeah, yeah, to, you know, that's a big, you know, last three minutes of a period is big because you never want to lose momentum or give up a goal, and uh, when you're able to do that for your team, it kind of... Um, I think whoever it is blocking the shots, it gets everybody, you know, all right, we're getting this done tonight, we're doing the right things, and, um, you know, when you're able to do it, you, you know, you feel like you're helping the team as well, so, um, you know, it gives the coach that much more confidence to play you too, so. And then especially right after a penalty kill like that, it's like, <laughs> yeah, one one last yeah. extra little bit of effort. Yeah, we were, uh, you know, we were out there for a little, a little longer, but uh, we were able to sort things out, and. Um, you know, I made the first block and then it went right back to him and was able to get a, a leg on the second one. So, uh, you know, that type of stuff wins hockey games. So uh, we have a lot of guys doing it on our team, uh, no matter which night it is.